The minute I discovered the hidden story that the Jabinskis were not only adopting orphan animals and bringing them to their villa in Warsaw, but also helping a nonstop stream of escaping Jews hide and survive the war, I was intensely fascinated. But I also marveled at the sensibility of Antonina. She had a preternatural gift for communicating with animals and understanding how they perceive the world. And as a result, they felt very safe around her. Antonina's story had slipped between the seams of history, as radically compassionate stories sometimes do, and especially stories by women. And I couldn't, I couldn't allow that to happen. She was too important, and she represents a kind of heroism that is taking place every single day on our planet. She was an unbelievably compassionate woman, empathic. She was that way with animals, and she was that way with humans. I think in part because she understood that humans are also animals. And she had observed the behavior of many different kinds of animals, and she applied that knowledge to the way in which she treated the Nazis when they came to visit, too. She was able to work with them with enormous intelligence and cleverness. But by far, her greatest gift was her gift for performing radical acts of compassion. I think Jan and Antonina would like people to know what ordinary people, so-called ordinary people, can rise to in a time of great evil, that there can still be great goodness that can take place. And these were otherwise normal people going about their normal lives. That's certainly the way it looked to the rest of the world. And yet they were able to become wonderfully heroic and serve as role models.